Aries, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Am I Trippin' or Not Tarot? My name is Cog Frost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nun. I'm here to do your general love reading from December 15th through the 31st. Please keep in mind that this may or may not resonate with every Aries, okay? So we all know this already. Check your other signs and your chart, G, and then check some other videos out, or just check me out next time. I apologize for that. Just so you know, I start all my cards out upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that is some bullshit, okay? I also pre-shuffle to get an idea of what's going on in the situation before we get started, um, Aries, okay? So I'm going to show you what I pulled. The Hane Man, clarified with justice, right? Got the Three of Pentacles here. Clarified that with the gift and toil and labor. I don't know if you can see that. Got Pathway here. Actually, pathway, I'm sorry, was, let's start over. Judgment came out, clarified with death here, and then pathway, okay? Right off top, Aries, you could be dealing with a Libra. I see Libra strong out here. An earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, a Scorpio, and so far, that's it, right? I asked how this person, what this person is thinking in regards to Aries right now, right? So I'm picking up on somebody in, the, in a situation that's like waited long enough. Like this person has had mad ass patience. They sat around. They tried to look at, look at things from the other person's point of view. Everything. This person has tried. This person is a very diplomatic person. Could be you or them, Aries. This person is like looked at it very objectively, right? But they're like... I don't know. They just feel like, you know, I waited long enough. I, I looked at all aspects and you know what? Fuck this shit. It's not even worth it. Somebody judgment with death is like somebody made a decision that this shit is over. Whatever the situation this is, this is a love reading Aries. But whoever this is, has decided to go their own way. Like I'm, I'm done waiting, right? Because you have been. Whoever this is, has been waiting. They were patient. I feel like this person tried to work out a situation with somebody which is why this three of pentacles came up here, right? Try to work the situation out because you felt like it was worth it. It's a gift. It was something that I felt like was meaningful, right? But this shit wasn't nothing but fucking hard work, Aries. Toil and labor. This is you or them. This is what they're thinking. This shit wasn't nothing but fucking hard work and there's nothing to show for this relationship that I'm in. So you know what? Deuces, right? Chris Brown shit. I'm leaving. I'm out of here, right? Pretty straightforward to me, Aries. I don't know what's going on, but I feel like somebody, this whoever is making this decision to finally be like, fuck it, and chuck the deuces up, they thought about this. This isn't an irrational decision. This isn't somebody that just jumped off the handle and was like, you know what, I'm leaving, packing their bags at the last minute or just, you know, off of, on a whim and shit. This is somebody that really sat around, thought about it, tried to make it work. Maybe this was a marriage, you know what I mean, with the justice card and the three of pentacles. This could have been a marriage where... Maybe you guys went through a separation or it's just been hard times and you guys tried to stick it out or one person did. I don't know yet, but it's just not going anywhere. So somebody's like, fuck it. You know what I mean? I'm out. Basically, pretty straightforward to me, Aries. Let's see uh, uh, how they view you because that's what they're thinking in regards to Aries. Or that could be you, them, Aries, vice versa, flip it how it's supposed to go. This doesn't have to be a spouse, somebody you married to or anything. Just the person you're thinking about right now. Ace of Swords flew out reverse, right? Could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Let's keep going. Feel like somebody's done talking about the shit, though. Eight of, eight of Pentacles. I'm getting a real... Let's keep going, but I'm getting a real, like... Like, I'll tell you, the devil. Devil came out, could be dealing with the Capricorn. Or Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or air sign, like I just said, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Let's put one on this devil real quick. This is how they see you, Aries, or you see them. It's supposed to be how they see you, but shit's been coming all flipped out, right? So, I don't know. Is this you, Aries? I hope this ain't you acting like this here, right? So with this Ace of Swords and this... Uh, eight of pentacles here it's like somebody is like maybe one person the one person who was being patient was waiting for the other person to kind of like open up you know what i mean say you want this shit motherfucker do you want to be here do you not like say something bitch right this person this eight of pentacles ain't saying shit they're not even facing the ace of swords the sword is down meaning they don't want to talk about it it's it's 
they're not uh, this I feel like this person is shut off or shut down or something Aries like this is how they see you or how you see them but this is somebody totally like cut off from the world I get it's like they're in their own fucking world they don't speak up they don't talk but not because they don't have nothing to say but just because they're like this emperor with this devil is like fucking uh what's the word I'm looking for a fucking like dictator and shit this is Kim Jong Un and shit you know what I mean like you ain't you ain't penetrating through this motherfucker right here so maybe that's why whoever this person is Aries got tired of you know what I mean you waited to see what this person was gonna do I, I want to make this situation work this relationship I do but shit how the fuck you go uh, somebody like this Aries no wonder whoever this is feels like this up at the top you know what I mean like this shit ain't going nowhere. You know why? You ain't about to get through to a motherfucker like this, Aries. It's it's impossible. You are not going to get through. It, just look at the cards together. I'm getting like a very strong, stubborn vibe. Like this is somebody that'll like turn their phone off and not answer you like for a whole week and not even give a fuck about it type shit. Like they just disappear and shit. This person could be addicted to drugs. I don't know. Usually people on drugs do shit like that when they just start disappearing and all that type of shit. Not saying this person has to be, but they be like on that me, me, me vibe and shit. You know what I mean? Like when it's about them, it's about them, period. No matter how diplomatic Aries you try to be or cross watcher, it's like you talking to a fucking wall. You know what I mean? It's... it's this is how you see them or they see you, Aries. Like, there's no rationalization with this person. You cannot rationalize with this person. They are like tunnel vision in this bitch, right? Somebody's hella stubborn and, like, set in their ways. Somebody sees somebody as set in their ways, Aries. Let's put one of these on this Ace of Swords here. And somebody's done expectation so like i said the person that was the hangman and the justice when we first started with the how they think that person was waiting for this person to like speak up say something do you want to fix this shit motherfucker do you not like what the fuck are you a, a deaf mute dumb motherfucker you know what i mean like what's going on why can't you speak and it's not that this person can't speak it's just this person doesn't give a fuck or care to speak you or them, Aries, I'm going to keep it real. Like, this motherfucker's an asshole, whoever the fuck this is. So I see why this person, whoever is thinking up here at the top, you or them, Aries, is like, well, fuck this shit, you know what I mean? I can go somewhere else to get, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't need to sit around and just let a motherfucker treat me like shit, you know what I mean? The world does that for me enough. Like, why would I sit around and try to work something out with a motherfucker that don't want to talk, you know what I mean? Focused on his own shit stubborn as fuck you know what i mean into his own thing whatever that is that devil is addictions and all that shit aries i feel like this is you i don't know if this is you acting like this but this is your card right somebody's stuck in their ways aries and they are not in a um like they're not even trying to work the shit out with the other person like if you just gave up on the motherfucker then just say you gave up on the motherfucker but to sit, let a motherfucker keep trying and trying and trying to fix something with you while you have no like you know what i mean no fucking like, you had no intentions of fixing it. Whoever this is has no intentions of working it out with the other person, but they're letting the other person try to keep working it out. And it's it's kind of, it's real shitty, man. It's real shitty. It's like, it's not even like they're even scared to tell the other person, like, no, I don't want to do this relationship. They literally just don't give a fuck. They literally, motherfuckers like that, these are like narcissists and shit. And I'm not saying this is you, Aries. It does not have to be. This could totally be the person because I'm asking about them. This devil could just be how they treat Aries. You know what I mean? Which is the same shit. What I'm saying is like, they just, it could be a narcissist. I'm picking up a real narcissistic vibe. Like as much whoever the one is that's trying to keep working this out, you are finally realizing like there is no penetrating through this motherfucking numbskull ass person. Like, it ain't nothing but motherfucking pork fat around they fucking brain. Like, you ain't about to get through no pork fat brain. You ain't. It's just, it, you ain't. It's, you're not. You're not, Aries. It's just, I don't know, G. It's kind of fucked up. Whoever keeps trying to hold on, well, shit, whoever was holding on, they decided the shit is over anyway. The motherfucker that ain't about shit and just a rude-ass narcissistic motherfucker wasn't really trying to work the shit out anyway. So it's it's weird because when I pull these cards and how they think and how they see and everything, they kind of line up, you know, horizontal and vertically, right? So if I was to pull, show you this shit this way, right, what the person thinks at the top, like, fuck this shit, is over, right? 
I'm on the new pathway. And then the person, how they see Aries, which was like right directly under it, was the devil and the emperor with pathway. So it's like both of these people have decided that, you know what I mean? This shit is a wrap. Like this shit is dead. One person just gave up and the other person just literally does not give a fuck about how the other person feels at all. Ain't a cup out in this bitch yet, okay? Fuck this person, Aries. Fuck them. For real. This is a miserable ass motherfucker. That's all this shit is. Like, if you want to be 100, this is just a miserable ass person who probably doesn't feel like they even deserve to be happy. So, why give anything my. This is like a, a, a motherfucker that's like expects to fail at everything. So, they shut people out before they even get to where they even need to go. They close door. They self sabotage. That's who this person is. They self sabotage shit. And whoever was waiting on them just realized that shit. Like, this motherfucker ain't never gonna change. Never. They ain't. From what the cards say, at least from the 15th to the 31st, they ain't. Shit. How does this person feel about Aries? So, the sun could be dealing with a Leo. Let's keep going. Definitely could be dealing with a Leo. Strength came out. But I feel like, oops, that fell on the floor. So I'm not going to take it. It was the five of swords, right? So if this was, if I was to keep this five of swords, right? Hypothetically speaking, I'm going to put it back in the deck. But let's just say I did keep it with the sun, the strength, and the five of swords, right? This person knows that they like mind, like, like you get mind fucked by. Like you're so positive. They're like, how can I explain this? It's like somebody that you know that always has that positive mindset. It's like a fucking uh, life coach almost. So let's say like somebody's always down and out. Like like Snuffleupagus in Sesame Street. The motherfucking high ass elephant that suffered from depression and all that shit. It's like every time that motherfucker tried to like, you know, somebody tried to make them feel better. Like, don't worry, Snuffleupagus. Life is good. Life will be great. Like, this motherfucker's like, no, it won't. Life is bad. Life is this. Life is that. So they see you as a positive person, Aries, and always trying to see the best in the situation. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Always trying to see the best in the situation, but, like, they don't give a fuck. They don't really believe in that positive shit. Maybe you're dating a person that's totally, like, not, like, and not saying everybody has to be spiritual, but they have no hope. You know what I'm saying? This person does not have a great outlook on life, Aries, whoever the fuck this is. Could be you, could be them. I'm keeping the sun and the strength because I asked how they feel about you. So they're like, I don't know why the fuck Aries is always so positive. Or maybe Aries always comes up on top and shit. Maybe Aries, you know what I mean? They just always happy and shit. Like, what the fuck is there? You, it's like one happy person in this relationship and one negative person in this relationship. It's like the good sun. It's the good fucking son. Like, somebody is Macaulay Culkin in this bitch, and somebody is Elijah Wood. Which one are you, Aries? Because that's basically what the fuck's going on. It's like somebody is like, like, I don't want to say evil, but like, a, like just a fucked up person to the core, though. Let's see how they feel about Aries. So this page of Pentacles flew out reverse. So like I said, they don't. It goes with that five of swords. Had we kept it, could be dealing with an earth sign. It still goes with that five of swords. Had we kept it, it's like they they're negative. They never bring anything good or positive to you, but you always seem to be like, well, it's you know what I mean. Like you're a positive person, Aries is how they see it. But they don't give a fuck about your positivity, G. They like. Snoop Dogg and Baby Boy when the kid built the fort. You be like, you built your fort? Fuck your fort. They kick your fort over. You know what I'm saying? That's how this person is. It's like, I almost get like they're a hater, Aries. This could just totally be a hater in your midst that you try to work some shit out with. You know what I mean? Doesn't have to be a love relationship. Just somebody in your midst is a hater. And it doesn't matter what you do to try to fix this situation. They just hate your motherfucking ass because you like this. You know what I mean? I feel like this represents you too, fire sign Aries. You know what I mean? You you just have a hater. You either sleeping with a hater, you friends with a hater, you work with a hater, you and the, your family. It's somebody around you, Aries, that hates you, basically. You got a hater in your midst, G. That's how we gonna sum this the fuck on up, right? Basically. Let's put one on this page of Pentacles. I feel like you, you've you been trying. Maybe you were like, I don't want to believe this motherfucker's a hater like that. Because I've been in that situation where somebody like, so-and-so is jealous of you. And you're like, no, nah, man, I've been down with that motherfucker for so and however many years, umpteen years. And motherfuckers outside of you see that shit. They're like, no, that motherfucker's a hater. That motherfucker don't like you. And so you still like, 
<laughs> this you, Aries, like, no, like, they would never be like that. And everybody's telling you, like, this motherfucker like that, G. This motherfucker's a hater. You need to stop hanging around with this motherfucker. Go on your own way. Leave that motherfucker alone. And finally, Aries, you or them are like, you know what? You motherfucking right. This motherfucker is a hater. You know? Stop trying to work this shit out with a hater. You ain't gonna change no hater, Aries. I don't give a fuck if you love him or not. That's some internal shit that person got to deal with on their own. Page of Pentacles reverse. Ace of Wands. Like I said, they never have anything positive to offer, right? This page of, this page of uh, Pentacles goes with this Ace of Wands. So it's like even when you try to like hit them with some good shit, they turn it down or they shut it down. If you come and tell them something good that happened for you, Aries, they like, oh, like, you know what I mean? They dumb down everything you do. Like, say you just bought a new car and you come show them, like, hey, I got a new car, whatever, it's the 2018, whatever. They be like, well, that 2019 was way better. What's wrong? You couldn't afford that shit? Like, damn, motherfucker, but I got a new car. Mind you, this motherfucker ain't bought shit. Don't even have a car, don't have a, a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. But they somehow seem to make you feel like what you're doing ain't enough, Aries, because... You know what I'm saying? You've always been this type of person, so you don't understand why they would even treat you like that. You know what I mean? This person is a fucktard. This person is a motherfucking hater. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. It could be somebody, I feel like it's somebody real close to you, which is why you keep trying to make it work, and you have this expectation for this person to, like, talk to you a certain way, be a certain way, truthful, you know what I mean? But this person don't give a fuck about that shit. I swear they don't, Aries. You are in the midst of a motherfucking hater that don't want nothing good for you, period, point blank. Shit becoming real clear to me right now on these cards. First, I thought, oh, okay, maybe this person, you know, just got tunnel vision, stubborn, which they are, all of that shit. But this just boils down to a motherfucking hater, period. You or them, Aries. But I feel like, you know what I mean? Aries, the fire sign, you came up upright. The emperor came up, uh, came up upright. These are the only cards that really represent you to me besides the, the sun and the strength. So I really feel like it's a motherfucker around you that's a hater. You know what I'm saying? This devil around this emperor. Watch that. Watch that hoe. Watch that bitch, right? And my Master P voice, right? No, my, my bout it, bout it voice, right? Shit. Watch that motherfucker, Aries. They don't mean you no good. Let's pull on the sun and the strength. The main male. So I take this a couple of ways, right? I feel like, like I said, this person is a fucking hater. Every time you come and tell them about some accomplishment or achievement that you have, they got some fucking negative shit to say, right? This is, to me, this is just like a mature motherfucker that got their shit together, right? This is what was representing you. So this is how you're coming up, Aries, to this person. They hate that shit. They hate that shit. It's either that or there's a male around you. Y'all motherfuckers could be best friends. I don't know. It could be two dudes. You know what I mean? Or it could be two girls, too. It could be a best friend situation is what I'm saying. Your partner, you know what I'm saying? Your partner is the hater around you. Whoever you close to, Aries, that you spend time with and you feel like this relationship is um, worth salvaging, but that person doesn't seem to feel the same way and it's kind of throwing you off as to why, I'm here to tell you why, my G. They a motherfucking hater. That's all. You ain't going to fix shit with a hater. Period. I'm sorry. I hate to be the one to tell you that shit, but I feel like y'all already know that shit. You know what I mean? I think you just got to get through the whole part of believing that this motherfucker would do you like that. And it's like, yes, Aries, this motherfucker will do you like that. It's true, G. So, don't nobody hate nobody that ain't got shit popping. So, obviously, you got something that they want, they admire, or they envy, Aries. So, watch your shit, okay? That's all I'm going to tell you. Keep doing what you've been doing, okay? It's supposed to be a lover, and I hope this ain't no lover acting like that. But lovers can be jealous and haters, too. Period. You know what I mean? They pray and pray for my downfall type shit. Listen to that biggie shit. That motherfucker wasn't tripping, right? Anyway, Aries, damn. That was your love reading, G, from December 15th through the 31st. Like I said, this may or may not have resonated with every Aries, okay? Um, so I'm sorry if that happened. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you can call me the Ghetto Nut. I will see y'all later. Love ya. Bye.